Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you about 10 things that I wish I knew about before joining the Royal Marines. So the first one is, is the actual job that you'll be doing, um, especially through training. So I was very naive. I thought, you know, get as fit as I can be and good to go. Just going to be doing fizz all day, shooting weapons, etc. And uh, that wasn't the case. It may sound very naive, but I wasn't. I didn't know what the, f the field was, going into the field for a few days, exercises. I didn't really know what the whole job entailed. I just knew I, I wanted to uh, challenge myself as, uh, as best as possible. So a good way to get good knowledge on this is obviously to ask people who've been there and done it, uh, to watch things like Command on the Front Line. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend the, the latest one because it's a little bit gimmicky. Uh, but maybe look at the ones that the, the documentaries that were made in sort of the 80s and 90s as well. They're really, really good. Uh, obviously, take them with a pinch of salt as well. But yeah, you're going to spend lots of time in the field, lots of time doing admin, etc. Um, and being fit, obviously, is really important, but it's not the be all and end all. Uh, number two, map reading. So the Royal Marines have got a really good, uh, I think it's a 10 stage video uh, series on YouTube. Get Get yourself amongst that. You know, you don't have to go and be unbelievable at map reading, but just having general uh, base uh, knowledge of map reading will really, really pay dividends. I went in, I'd never even uh, held a compass before in my life. And so the learning curve was like that. So for those who, who had done some map reading, you know, they were two, three steps ahead of me. And it just means that it's going to make your training a little bit easier. Number three, just uh, get around your mum's iron. I don't know if that's uh, sexist. Or get, get around your dad's iron as well if you want. Uh, but basically, yeah, just get used to ironing, um, even if it's literally just getting a shirt and, and having a go with it, feeling how it how it is and uh, all that sort of stuff. You know, you don't have to be unbelievable ironing, but just get used to to doing some ironing. And obviously, when you get there, you're going to you're going to get shown uh, the correct way to do it by the uh, by the DLs. Number four, just get used to carrying weight. So I wouldn't go I wouldn't go out and do, you know, put 20K on, on your shoulders and go and do 10 miles. But at least you know, do a mile or two and, and have five, 10 kilo on your back. Just get used to it. You know, it's uh, very, very different to running without any kit, very different to being on a treadmill, etc. So, you know, even if it's a couple of times a week, once or twice a week, just do 20, 30 minutes with a bit of weight on your on your back and just, just uh, see how it feels. They will obviously train you up as you go, but no harm can be done by uh, gradually building yourself up to it like I say, don't go mental before you get in, but just get, get used to what it's like. Uh, number five, get your, set, get your pull-ups absolutely nailed and your sit-ups with knees together. This will pay absolutely huge dividends when it comes to rope climbs. If you are in a gym that has rope climb uh, that has rope climbing facilities, i.e. a rope, uh, absolutely go for it. Don't go the CrossFit way, the J-hook way. You've got, to uh, you've got to learn the correct Royal Marines technique. So if you're not sure what that is, I've got a video um, in my YouTube, you can check that out. However, if you haven't got a rope available, then simply get your pull-ups, your toes to bar nailed and sit-ups with your knees together. That will really help uh, core strength for rope climbing. Number six, uh, get, get used to camping or being outside, you know, get the lads together and go out for the weekend. Just getting used to being out in the elements. Uh, often we we live such uh, sheltered and weak lives these days, you know, turn the heating up in the winter, etc. It's going to be a massive shock going from that environment to Limston. So I'm not saying you have to go and, you know, do survival weekend and live off uh, rabbit droppings, but just at least go out once or twice, get used to being in those uh, elements because it will be a big shock to you if, you if you've never done it before or you're not used to it. Number seven, just enlarge your understanding of the Royal Marines as a whole. So uh, talking about uh, the way that the Royal Marines is set up, uh, rank structures, etc., etc. It's just going to help you have to uh, take in less information when you're knackered going through training. So the more you can learn now, the easier your ride will be. Again, you don't have to go mental with it, but like any job that you're going into, you want to learn about the history of, of the company. You want to learn like... Who, who are the uh, the top dogs in, in the company? How do they operate? What, what sort of things are the company involved in? All those basic things that you would be doing uh, for other jobs. Do the same with the Royal Marines. Obviously, you've got your interviews where you're going to be doing a lot of this, but just doing your own research as well for your own knowledge rather than just passing an interview will really, really help you when you get there. 
Number nine, don't think that, you, you know, you're going to walk through the doors of Limston and they're going to give you a rifle and, uh, you know, basically tell you to go and slit throats. It, you're going to gradually build up. So you won't see a rifle for the first couple of weeks, probably, maybe, maybe once or twice. But you're going to be you're going to be in there. You're going to be getting thrashed. You're going to be um, ironing, uh, polishing shoes, etc. They're going to be so diligent and so on top of your appearance. You're going to be thinking, you know, I didn't join a fashion company. I joined uh, I joined to, to fire weapons, etc. But they've got to teach you diligence in every single area of your life. They they're going to be trusting you with with weapons. You know, people around you. Uh, with live ammunition etc obviously they'll want you to go front line potentially eventually so they need to know that you've got diligence in every area of your life from shaving to ironing to obviously firing weapons etc so don't think you're going to get there in the, within the first week you're going to be uh, all over your weapon drills etc it takes time they're the masters of getting you ready and trust the process and uh, yeah you'll be you'll you be good to go you'll be before you know it, within a year, you'll be an elite fighting soldier. And finally, last last point I've identified. Uh, there's obviously many points, but these are the these are the ten just on reflection. Getting used to early mornings. So uh, get just start getting used to getting up a little bit earlier. If you're getting up at uh, ten a.m., get up at nine a.m. for a week. Then change that to eight a.m., seven a.m., six a.m., etc. Um, Obviously, if you're an early bird anyway, then make sure you go to bed late, uh, early as well. But uh, yeah, just get used to the early morning routines. Maybe a really good practice would be to get up quite early, 6, 7 a.m. And then go for a morning run or do a little bit of fizz. Because that's very much what it'll be like at Limston. You know, you'll, be, you'll get up, you'll do, get scrum, get adobe, etc. And then you'll be out doing fizz all day. So get used to that early morning exercise. Just get used to the routine, especially a couple of weeks before going into training it's just good to, uh, to have those fundamentals in place last bonus bonus point i would say would be don't go into training absolutely knackered and shattered give yourself good recovery a week before training hit your training mega mega hard up until about a week before give yourself a, a bit of a rest so look after yourself train hard uh, if you're joining with anyone else push them keep them accountable and uh, yeah it's going to be down on your head uh, when you get to limpston you know you're going to be if you haven't been putting the training in, you're going to regret it instantly walking through those gates. If you have been, you're going to be thankful to yourself that you've worked hard. Any questions, don't be afraid to message me. Check out Complete Commando on Instagram or Sam Logan Fitness as well. So nice one, guys. Cheers and see you soon.